hello there welcome to today's class we will be treating angles you know the last time we did something on angles maybe you can just go through the channel and then um, maybe you have a, a recap of what we did there okay so we'll be looking at them um, angles today the part two of what we had already done okay so our learning objectives today uh, by the end of the lesson you should be able to state some properties of angles which we introduced last time we we treated angles then solve mathematical problems involving angles okay so um, you know just like a recap we said that an angle is a geometrical figure formed when two lines or rays okay meet at a point that point is called vertex okay we said that said that um, it's measured in degree and of course um, is constructed using a protractor, a ruler, and a pair of compass and a pencil. Okay, and then I also showed you the symbol of um, representing an angle when you are writing angles. Okay, we looked at types of angles. We talked about um, acute angles. Okay, we said there are angles that are less than ninety degrees but greater than zero. We looked about. We talked about them. Um, uh, right angles, we say the angles that whose values are 90 degrees, okay, they are also called right angles, okay, uh, they are also called angle 90. Some people just call it that way, okay. We looked at um, obtuse angles, say angles greater than 90 but less than 180. We looked at angles on a straight line, angles whose value sum up to 180, okay. I am giving this recap because what we are what we'll do today, we require that you recall all these things that we have learned the last time we traded angle. We looked at reflex angles. <coughs> we said reflex angles are angles that are more than 180 but less than 360. Then we looked at them um, angles at a point. We said they are complete or revolution angles. Okay, they are angles. Uh, whose values is equal to 360 degrees okay i we gave this um, okay so we looked at properties of angles um, we say sum of angles the first property we looked at is that sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees okay we looked at sum of angles at a point is equal to 360 degrees we looked at sum of angles in a right angle is 90 degrees we talked about sum of complementary angles is equal to 90 degrees. We talked about um, another property of angles, sum of supplementary angles is equal to 180 degrees. We also talked about sum of um, angles in a triangle to be equal to 180. We looked at vertically opposite angles, and we said vertically opposite angles are always equal. We looked at corresponding angles. We say corresponding angles are equal. Okay, I showed you how these angles looked like in diagrams or in figures. Okay, we looked at alternate angles. We said alternate angles are equal. Then we looked at, um, um, we said two adjacent angles are up to what? Add up to 180 degrees. Adjacent mean angles that are side by side. Okay, they are similar to angles on a straight line. Okay, and we looked at inferior angles. We said they add up to, sorry, interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so today we will look at some examples of this angle, of, of these um, um, properties we have looked at. Okay, these properties of angles in our exam guide app. Okay. So we'll quickly do that and um, let's see how far we can run with that today. So let's look at our exam guide app. I think we are in angles here. Okay. So the first thing we have there is they said which of these angles they gave um, illustrations there. They gave um, options of angle from number one to E. So they said which of these angles is complementary to 70? Which of these angles is 
complementary to 70. Now, we looked at complementary angle as one of the properties of angles. And we said that complementary angles are angles that add up to what? 90 degrees. So what they are asking you is what angle will be added to 70 to give us an answer that is complementary? That is what they are asking. What angle will be added to 70 to give us an answer that is what? Complementary. And that angle is, if you subtract 70 from 90, whatever you get is the angle that will be added to 70. Okay? So if we do number one, complementary, complementary angles, remember, add up add up to what 90 degrees so they're asking which of these they say angle 30 angle 20 angle 90 degrees angle 150 degrees angle 110 degrees so which of them we will find out that b is the answer because option b when added to 70 will give us seven uh, will give us 90 degrees so that is how um complementary angles question come okay that is the form they come they may give you three angles that are complementary for example if they give you angle 30 degrees okay and angle 40 degrees and angle 20 degrees you will know that those angles are complementary okay let's say first first of all let's get this done this is 20 plus 70 degrees gives us 90 degrees so 20 degrees is complementary to 70 can you see that? So they can also give you instances where they give you more than um, two angles that are complementary uh, to one another. Okay? Like, for example, they give you 20 degrees, they give you 30 degrees. Do you get the point? And they give you, let's say, 40 degrees. You know, these angles, they can ask you which angle is complementary to 20 degrees and 70 degrees uh, and then uh, 40 degrees which angle um, is complementary to 20 degrees and 40 degrees you can see that 20 and 40 will give us 60 so we we are um, we will require extra 30 to add up to 90 so in this kind of case now it will be 30 degrees that will be required to make these two things what complementary or to make all of them complementary angles okay all right so that is um a typical question there so if if um, you can understand um what those um properties if you can understand what those properties complementary angles supplementary angles vertically opposite angles corresponding angles alternate angles okay angles at a point angles on a straight line, adjacent angle, just know what they add up to, okay? What the property is saying, what the law is saying, you can do any question on angles, okay? So let's look at some other um, examples. Let me, okay, they look at this. They say, find the value of theta in the diagram below. Now, um, this is um, not what we are treating. Or we'll skip this. This is trigonometry. Okay, I don't want us to deviate from what we are doing. This is a trigonometric question. Okay, so we'll just look for um, some for some questions that are relating to properties of angles. Now let's look at this. In the diagram below, okay, I won't write the question since you can see um, what we have there. On I'll only give you the the um, the figure here. In the diagram below, we have two parallel lines going this way. We have another one going this way. All right? Now, in the diagram below, two parallel lines are caught by two transversal. Transversal is a line that is a vertical line that cuts a horizontal parallel line. Okay? Now, find, they say we should find the value of B plus D. So let's see what we have here. Here, they said this angle is angle 70 degrees. Okay. This angle, they said is B. So it's, they didn't give us what the value of this angle is. 
Then here they said is C. Here they said is 50 degrees. And here they said is D. So the question is find the value of B plus D. Question is find the value of B plus D. Find the value of B plus D. All right. Let's look at what we have here. We have angles given to us here. Okay? Now, let's look at these angles that we have here. These angles we have here, we have angle B and we have angle 70 here. Now, if you remember when we had this diagram, we have something like this, we have something like this, okay? And we talked about, okay, we talked about the fact that if this is A and this is B, these two angles are vertically opposite each other. Do you understand? And we said vertically opposite angles is, is what? Equal. We said what? Vertically opposite angles are what? Equal. So it means that if this is 70, because B is vertically opposite 70, B is vertically opposite 70, we said that B is equal to 70 degree as well. Now, in mathematics, when you are solving angle questions and you give um, an answer or you, you, you give... Um, Yes, an answer to a particular angle that is asked for you to give, you must give the reason why that answer is there. Now, you put it in bracket and you say, because vertically opposite angles. Can you remember this symbol of angle? Right? When we treated angles, I told you there are some symbols we used to... So if I do something like this, it means angles, okay? So vertically opposite angles are equal. Are equal. So vertically opposite angles are equal. So we have confirmed the value of B. That is the first thing there. Now, the second thing we need to know is if we have the value of um, this and this to be what? This is 70 now. It means for us to know what we have here, for us to know what we have here, it is simply um, 180 because this and this, okay? This angle and this angle, let's even say this angle is given as question mark, okay? To know what is here is simple. To know what is here is simply to subtract 90 or to subtract 70 from 90. Once we subtract seven, um, 70 from 90, the reason is what? Adjacent angles add up to 90 degrees. So when we add, um, um, add up to 180 degrees. So what that means is that for we to have here or some of angles on a straight line, these two angles are on a straight line. So this angle and this angle, okay? So what we will have here? is 120 okay because if you add 120 to 70 to give us 180 now follow we have gradually gotten what this angle this angle and what this angle are do you understand me now if we look at if we look at corresponding angles now if what we have here look what we have here is 50 degrees. Now, this angle is corresponding to this angle. Can you see that? 
This angle is corresponding to this angle. It means here is also 50 degrees corresponding angles. All right. So I said um, sum of angle on a straight line is 180. So if we subtract 70 from 180, we'll have 110. Okay. So we have 110 degree here, 70 degree here. Okay. So this to this, this is um, corresponding to this. So this is 50 degrees. If this is 50 degrees, this to this. Can you see? This to this is vertically opposite angle. It means this place will also be 50 degrees. Do you see that? This place will be what? 50 degrees. So if this place is 50 degrees, if we also come down here, okay, we we'll look at this place. This place is corresponding to this place. Do you get the point? So if this place is 110, it means here also will be 100 and what? 10. This is corresponding. This corresponds. Any other angle going this way should be 110 to going 110, just at the base of the angle. So if this is 110, it means here. To get the angle here, what we simply do is 90, uh, 180 degrees because some of angles on a straight line or adjacent angles, we said adjacent angles add up to what? 180. So it means this plus this should give us 180. But to get here is to subtract 110 from 180. So if we subtract 110 from 180, here, here, this angle here will be 70 degrees. You see that now? So this here will be 70 degrees. So it means that we have gotten the angles inside this quadrilateral. Here is 110, here is 70, here is 50. So what will D be? Now, this is what we will now do. Okay, so since we have gotten what these internal angles are now, remember, some of angles inside Okay, or we say some of interior angles, some of what interior angles in a quadrilateral or so, or some of angles in a quadrilateral. This is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a shape that has four sides. See, this is first side, second, third, fourth. Okay, so some of angles inside a quadrilateral like this sum up to 360. Do you understand? So, what it means is that here we have 110. That is this plus 70 degrees plus 50, okay, plus D equal to what? 360 degrees, okay? And I said it is what? Sum of what? Sum of angles in a quad, in a quadrilateral. Sum of angles in the quadrilateral is 360, okay? So if we check this now, this plus this gives us 180, okay? This plus this gives us 180. 180 plus 50, 180 plus 50, zero, this to this is 13. Take one here to be what? Two. So this is 230. So this is 230 degrees plus D is equal to 360 degrees. You get that? Okay. Then, what we do is we take like terms. Let like this come here. Okay. So D will be equal to 360 degrees minus 230 degrees okay all right so it means d will be equal to zero minus zero is zero six minus three is three three minus two is one so it's 130 degrees now d is 130 degrees now what we have here we are having d as 130 degrees and we're having B 
as what we have found before as um, 70 degrees. Do you get the point now? So if we have, um, so the question says, find the value of B plus D. So B is equal to, what did we get as B? 70 degrees. Why D is equal to 130 degrees? So value of B plus D is equal to 70 degrees plus 130 degrees. So that gives us 200 degrees as the value when we add the, um, uh, the value of B, which is 70 degrees, and the value of D, which is 30 degrees. And our correct option there is option A. Okay? So that is... Now, you, you can see our knowledge of angles. We can solve some complex questions like this that you think. If you look at what I did here, I almost applied all the properties or all the laws of the angles that we had studied to get um, to this answer. So you must have to understand, if you can, if it is possible, go back to our our lecture on um, angles, you will find um, this thing more comprehensive there, understanding those angle properties, okay? So let's take another question. Okay, this says find the sum of um, angles of a hexagon. We have not done that. Polygons will be a topic we will treat on its own, okay? So let's leave um, hexagon, okay? Now, which of the following method is used to... Uh, this is a question on construction. Let's look for... Okay. They say we should find the fourth angle of a quadrilateral if the other angles are this, 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 that. Okay, let's look at this. Because of what I've just said there. Remember we said angles... Um, sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360. So let's just look at this question, okay? So calculate the fourth angle of a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a shape that has um, four sides or four angles. Four sides or four what angles. All right. For example, a square is a quadrilateral. A rectangle is a quadrilateral. A rhombus is a quadrilateral. A trapezium is a quadrilateral. Um, um, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral. They will have some special quadrilaterals like the polygons, like the pentagon, hexagon, um, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, just like that. Those things are all quadrilaterals. Uh, there are some other special um, um, figures that have more than four sides. That is a, that's what I was trying to make you understand. Okay, so now they say we should find the fourth angle. The first angle is given. First angle, first is um, 56 degrees. Second angle, second angle given is 115 degree. Third is equal to 120 degrees. So they are asking us to find the fourth. Fourth is what? Is question mark. Okay? So let me just give you a pictorial representation of maybe what they are asking us to do. Let's assume we have a shape like this, like this, like this. Okay? All right, let's assume this is the shape. And they are asking that here is 120 degrees. This is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. One, two, three, four sides. This is a quadrilateral. Okay? Let's say this other one, they said, is um, 120 degrees. No, this is 115. 115 degrees. Then, let's say the second, they say here is 56 degrees. Now, they're asking us to find this point. So, they're asking us to find the fourth angle. That is just what they're asking us to do. So from what I asked, from what I just said here, I said sum of angles, sum of angles, this first angle, second angle, third angle, fourth angle, sum of angles in a quadrilateral, in any shape that has four sides, sum of angles inside the quadrilateral is equal to what? 
360 degrees. Okay? All right. So, um, what that means is that we will have to put 56 degrees plus 115 degrees plus 120 degrees plus the fourth side. Let's call this fourth side to be X. Okay? So, plus X. So, the fourth angle, we are assuming it is X since we don't know the value. All right? So, we said it's equal to what? Equal to 360 degrees. We said some, the reason. Always give reason. Okay? Maybe if you're doing an objective question, you can just, you know the reason. So, what you are interested in is to get the right option and just stick. But if you are solving a theory question, okay, once you give this thing, you must give your examiner reason why you have to do that, okay? That reason must be there. It has its own mark. So, the reason for this is sum of angles, remember my symbol for angles, sum of angles in a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, is equals equal to 360 degrees. 360 degrees. Sum of angles in the quadrilateral equals to 360 degrees. Do you get that? So this means that this means x plus 56. Let me bring it closer. Plus 115 degrees plus 120 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. All right, so let's um, let's get it solved here. So what that will mean is, if we add all this, this will mean one twenty plus one one five plus fifty six. Okay, let's see what that will give us. This is zero plus five is um, five. Five plus six is eleven. So we we'll put one here and we take one to two becomes three. Three plus one becomes four. 4 plus 5 becomes 9. So this is 9. Then here, here is 2. So this is 291. So x is plus 291 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. You get that? So what that we mean is take like terms, like this come here. Okay, as it goes there, this minus changes to plus. Alright. So x which is the fourth, don't forget, which is the fourth angle, will now be equal to 360 degrees minus 291 degrees. Okay? So X will now be equal to 360 degrees minus 291 degrees. We can quickly solve that. 360 degrees to... 9, 1 degree. This is subtraction. Okay? Now, we can take 1 from here or from here. Let's take from here. Let's take from 6. 1 here. 5 will be left here. Remember, 5 will be left here. We are putting 1 here. This is now 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 5 is left here. 5 minus 9 cannot go. So, we are taking 1 from 3 so that 2 will be left here. Put it here. It becomes 15. Okay? 15 minus 9 15 minus 9 will give us 6. Okay? Do you get that? 6. So, what is left here, remember, is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, this is 69. So, x is equal to 69 degrees. So, it means that the fourth angle, the fourth angle of that, um, of the chord is equal to 69 degrees. Let's see if we have our answer there. Okay. The option is option A. So let's look at um, the next thing. This is a question on construction. Um, no, this is a question on construction. This is not our focus today. Okay. We'll have time where we'll learn on constructions. Okay. Calculate the value of Y in the figure below. Okay. Okay. Good. I think 
that is on what we have studied on angles. I think this is number four. They gave, okay. I think this question is very interesting. This particular question here, a, a student will easily be confused in this question, but then is that is 56 or 55? That is 55. 55 degrees, then here, this is y. OK? This y degree. Now, the question is, calculate the value of y in this shape. What is the value of y in this shape? What is the value of y? So now, um, you have a figure here. <clears throat> For you to find the value, remember all these angles here, one, two, three, they are angles on a straight line. Now, for you to find what y is, it means if you add up this, add up this, subtract it from 180, you have gotten y. But they gave you a particular angle and they didn't even give you a figure. They are supposed to have given you a figure here, but they didn't give you any figure. Now, listen, we can, remember when we talked about right angles and I showed you this symbol of right angle. I said to you, if you can re recall our lesson in angle part one, I, I made mention of the fact that right angles have the shape of a seat, a chair, okay? The shape, the shape of a chair, okay? Now, if you look at this, now it looks like a chair. Any um, angle question that you see, any angle given to you and looking like a chair where someone can sit down, that is a right angle and is usually equal to 90 degrees. So this sign that you have here, means that this angle here is 90 degrees okay it's half of a straight line angle do you understand me so this is 90 degrees here even if they have not given to they didn't give you the real figure as 90 degrees what should inform you that it is 90 degrees is because of the shape of the angle given so this is 90 degrees so with this we are um, sure we can um, say what this angle is so angle y is simple y plus 55 plus 90 degrees what is the reason sum of what angles on a straight line on a straight line equals to 180 degrees you get that? Sum of angle on a straight line equals to 180 degrees. So what that means is y will now be plus 90 plus 55. We have 90 and 55. This will be this plus this is 5. 9 plus this is what? 14. Okay? So this is 145. So this is plus 145 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. It means that y will now be equal to 180 degrees minus 145 degrees. So y will be equal to 180 minus 145, 180 degrees minus 145 degrees. Okay, take one here. This is now 7. Put here is 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 4 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 35. Okay. This 35. So y is equal to 35 degrees. So that is how to solve for this. Okay. So we have applied here. We have applied some of angles on a straight line. Here we applied um, some of angles in a quadrilateral. Here we applied almost or we applied vertically opposite angles. We applied corresponding angles. Okay. We applied the um, adjacent angles and, and so on. So, if you know what these angles are, you can actually apply them in solving your questions. Look at this. Look at this. If we know that this is y, uh, this is 90, it means, you know, everything here is 180. If this is 90, this is also 90. You can as well forget about this place. Forget about solving like this. Okay? Let me show you something. Something you can quickly do. Okay? In such questions.
in such question. What you can do is, um, um, okay, we, you, you can just consider one side of the right angle. And remember, this is a right angle, 90 degrees. This is also a right angle, 90 degrees. So what you can do here, remember, remember that sum of angles inside a right angle equals to what? One uh, is equal to 90 degrees. So what it means is that 55 plus y is equal to 90. Do you understand? Because everything here is also a right angle. It's 90 degrees. This and this are complementary. That is what it means. Y and 55 are complementary. Because if we add 35 to 55, it will give us 90. But I will show you how that is. Do you understand me now? So we said 55 plus y is equal to 90 degrees. What is the reason? Sum of angles in a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. We also gave that as one of our properties, okay? So we, we can say, or, still on that question four, okay? Y plus 55 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Sum of angles in a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Do you understand me? Sum of angles in a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So what that will mean is, if this is this, this will not be y is equal to 90 degrees minus 55 degrees. Y will be equal to 35 degrees. If you check it, that is 90 minus 55, okay? This is 8 now. 8 will be here. We'll take 1 here. 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. That is 35 degrees. So this is even the simpler part. Okay? You just do that. Once you know that this is 90 degrees, the other part will be also 90 degrees to make up a straight line angles. Okay? So let's see. Okay, we have seen corresponding. I think there is something we have not looked at. There is a property we have not looked at. Um... Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this. I think this is a very good, very good question for us to practice. Find the value of x in the figure below. Let me give you the figure number five, right? Yes. Find the value of x in the figure below. This is the figure. Is like a kite okay all right here they said is 92 degrees here they said is 2x here they said is uh, 52 degrees and um, this other side, they said it's 2x also. So this is 2x. So it means that this angle and this angle are equal. Okay, so here is 92 degrees and this is 52 degrees. So this is A, B, C, D. So the question is asking us to find the value of x in the shape below. Simple. This is a quadrilateral because it has how many sides? Four sides. One, two, three, four. And we have angles inside the quadrilateral. What are the angles? The first angle, second angle, third angle, fourth angle. Remember, don't forget the, what we just did here. So now, there is a theorem or there is a law, a, a property of the angle which says that sum of angles inside a quadrilateral is what? 360. Is that correct now? So what it means is that we add all angles here and equal them to what? 360. So we say what? 92. 92 solution. 92 degrees plus 2x plus 52 degrees plus 2x is equal to what? 300 and what? 60 degrees. What is the reason? Sum of angles in a quadrilateral 
is equal to what? 180. Very important. Make sure you give this reason. Very important. Very important. Okay? So sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to what? 360 degrees. Sorry. This is 360 degrees I wanted to write here. 360 degrees. Okay? So let's solve now. Remember, they are asking us to find the value of x. That is our interest. The value of x. Okay. So, the value of x will mean we'll add all these things. So, this will mean 92 degrees plus 52 degrees. Stay with real numbers. Then 2x plus 2x is equal to 360 degrees. Is that okay? Okay. So, um, the next thing there is we add up this now, okay? This is 92 plus 52. 92 plus 52. This is what? 4. Okay? 2 plus 2 is 4. Why 9 plus 5 is 14, okay? So this is 14, 144. So this is 144 degrees plus 2x plus 2x gives us 4x is equal to 360 degrees. Is that okay? All right. So take like terms. Go and meet real number there without a variable. So 4x stays alone. So that 360, we now subtract 144 degrees. Remember, this 144 has a positive sign that is invisible. All right. Okay. So this will mean 4x is now equal to 360 minus 144. Let's do a quick check there. 360 minus 144. Okay. 0 minus 4 cannot go so we take one from here this becomes five so we put that one here this is 10 10 minus 4 is 6 5 minus 4 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so this is 216 so this is 216 do you understand that now 216 so with this now we can divide both sides by the coefficient of x okay divide both what sides by the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is what? 4. Okay, so we are dividing everything by 4. Okay, so we have 4x over 4 is equal to 216 over 4. Okay, all right, so what that will mean is 4 into itself is 1 because they have common whatever there. 4 into 4 is 1. 1 divided 1 is 1 times x is x. Then this is now 4 into itself is 1. 4 into 21 because 4 into 2. These big numbers like this, sometimes when you are not giving calculator to solve, you may think it's difficult to, to break them down. It's not difficult. Just um, take them part by part. Okay? 4 into 2, you know it is not possible, right? Mm? From in the context of what we are talking about. So um, what we you will now do is take 21, leave 6 first. Okay? 4 into 21 will be what? 5. 4 into 21, that is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. So 1 will be left. So this is 5. Remainder 1. That one we put it now to 6 to become 16. We have shifted the 1 to 16. So 4 into 16 is what? 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. So it means that x is equal to what? 54 degrees. Hmm? x is equal to 54. Hmm? Th that is what the value of x is now. x is 54. So it means 2x is 2 times 54. This other one is um, 2 times 54. 54. And we, when we add all of them together, we will now get what the value of uh, this will be. So if x is this, uh, remember, this will mean 
2 times 54, then here, will mean 2 times 54. 2 times 54 will give us, okay, um, 54. I just want to check so that you will know that when we sum everything here to give us 360. 2 times 54 is 2 here. 2 this is 8. 2 times this is 10. So it's 108. So this place is 108. This place is equal to 108 degree degree. So it means the actual angles or the size of this angle is this place is 108. This place is 108. This place is 92. This place is 52. You get the point now. So let's see if we add all of them together, if we get 360. If we don't get 360, then we are wrong. Okay? So if we add 108, which is the size of this one, because x, they said is 54, and this is 2 times x. So 2 times 54 is 108. 2x, yeah, 2x is 54. 2 times 54 is 108. So this, this place, now the real angle is 108. The real value is 108. Here is also 108. Then here is 92. Then here is 52. So let's see. Hmm? 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 2 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So write down two, uh, 0, carry 2. 2 plus 0 is 2, plus 0 is 2, plus 9 is 11, plus 5 is 6. Do you get the point now? That is 16 now. That's what I said. What I just did there, look at what, what I did there. This, 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 hmm? this plus this, plus this plus this is 20, write down 0, carry 2. Put that two here, it is 11 plus this is 16. Rather than six, I carry one, put here, two, three. That is 360. Can you see that sum of angles inside of this now is 360, which validates the, um, the law that we just gave here that gave us that correct answer. I think um, um, whatever comes your way now as regards... Um, um, Angle theories, you should be able to do. What is the third angle of a triangle if the two sides are this? Okay. Uh, what is the third angle of this if the other side is this? Now, this is so sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay. So you, you just add this, add this, and you, you, you should also get what we are talking about. Let's see if we have. Now they say find the value of x in the diagram below. Okay, it's still the same thing. It's still the same thing. Uh, how to do this? They, they gave us a triangle here. Can you see this? This is a triangle. All right, so we have the first angle is 45. The second one is x, 2x plus 30 degrees. The second one is 90 degrees minus x. So what to do? You know, sum of angles in a triangle like this is 180. So you do 45 plus, you add um, x, 2x plus 30 degrees plus 90 degrees minus x. You equal them into what? Um, 180. Once you simplify that, you will find the value of x. So that is very simple. Okay, so those things I've been saying, you can take them as an assignment. Maybe when you solve, you can... Um, Give us your answer in the comment section, okay? You can give us your answer in the comment section. This one is calculate the number of sides of a regular polygonal. This is not what we are treating, okay? Now look at this. <clears throat> what is the value of x? I think I should solve this for you. What is the value of x in the figure below, okay? Let's just um, quickly see that the value of x in that figure. Let me show you the figure. I think that will be our last um, example today. Okay, here we have x, this, this, then here we have 110 degrees, 110 degrees. Okay. And they're asking us to find the value of x. Now, look at this. This, you must identify which triangle this is. Now, for this sign given to you here, it means that this side and this side are equal. If the sign was also here, it means that this side 
and this side and this side are all what equal but since they gave you just this stroke here and here it means only two sides of this triangle um, are equal that says something to you now that this is what a what type of triangle okay so um, since we know that this triangle or this side and this side are equal it means that the base angles also the base angles also are also equal so it means this angle must be equal to this angle you understand me it means whatever angle we have here is the same angle we have here this is an isosceles triangle an isosceles triangle says that um two sides of the triangle are equal and the base angle the base this is the base angle are also what equal so now they have given us in one of the base angles they have given us angle at the other side at the adjacent side you know and we said adjacent angle this angle is adjacent to this let's just call this angle x okay since it is what we are looking for uh, since is no let's call it b or a there is x here already okay so to get this is remember some of angles on this straight line this is a straight line this is a straight line some of angles on this straight line is 180 so what do you do you do a plus 110 is equal to 180 degrees why sum of angles on a straight line is equal to what 180 degrees that's the first thing there it means our a will be equals to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees okay so a will be equal to 110 degrees uh, 180 minus 110 that gives us what 70 because 0 minus 0 is 0 8 minus 1 is 7 1 minus 1 is 0 so this is 70 degrees so a is 70 degrees but we are not asked to find a you know your examiners are very uh, very tricky okay they gave you option c here at 70 so if, if you're not careful you just go and pick okay but then what this will mean is that here they ask us to find the value of x remember i said if here a is equal to 70 now it means this other angle is also what 70. so we have gotten this angle and this angle so x will be easy to what find do you understand why because sum of angles inside a triangle is 180 so you say therefore this 70 plus this 70 plus this x is equal to one what 80 degrees why sum of angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees can you see that so that will mean 70 plus 70 is 140 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees okay so x will mean 140 should move okay so we will now have we will now have this to be equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees so x will now be equal to what 40 degrees which is option e okay so i think um, um that is how far we can go today i, I think you, you you have um about 60 questions or more that you can play around with on angles uh, i think we have more than that on this app that you can I, I just selected 60 so you have more than 60 questions on angles that you can just practice okay so you can just practice maybe you take a question and um, solve you can drop your answer or your solving in the comment section of this particular video thank you very much and see you next time thank you